हेलो एंड वेलकम टू कॉम्प्यूटोलॉजी अकेडमी एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक रिलेटेड टू साइबर सिक्योरिटी एज वेल एज इंटरनल सिक्योरिटी एज वेल एज द बॉर्डर सिक्योरिटी और द ग्लोबल थ्रीट वट एवर यू से बट द डीप फेक डीप फेक इज वन ऑफ द लेटेस्ट टूल वन ऑफ द मोस्ट डेंजरस टूल इन टर्म्स ऑफ साइबर वारफेयर इट इज अ न्यू काइंड ऑफ साइबर वेपन दैट इज बींग यूज बाई मेनी ऑफ द एलिमेंट्स वेदर इट इज लोकली और ग्लोबली टू अटैक एनी ऑफ द इंस्टीट्यूशन एनी ऑफ द एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव इंस्टीट्यूशन एनी ऑफ द नेशन एनी ऑफ द कम्युनिटी एनी ऑफ द सोसाइटी एंड दस इट बिकम्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू बी अवेयर ऑफ दीज थिंग्स and to know about these things right so here we will discuss this whole thing in detail and this may be in your civil services paper whether it is being conducted by upsc or by the state public service commission in the internal security and security related issues matters so those part of the syllabus may be having such kind of questions because it is latest threat and it is in news and it is one of the most potent threat also so please do subscribe our channel to get notified whenever we upload new videos as well as press the bell icon to get the instant notification about the new uploads right so let us start with the discussion start with the analysis so first of all what is deep fake the basic thing is what is deep fake what does it mean here the digital media digital media whether it is video whether it is audio whether it is images edited or manipulated using the artificial intelligence artificial intelligence many body will be knowing about the artificial intelligence it is the new technology that has been developed where the machine itself learns from the data that it is gathering or the interaction it is having with the other system people or the common man or the user itself right so whoever is using this system using this technology the technology itself upgrade by gathering the data by taking the advantage of the inputs that it is getting from the user itself right and that is why it is called as artificial intelligence first of all it is artificial thing so the artificial word will remain attached with that but it is intelligent in learning system and that is why it is more dangerous like many of you who are fan of hollywood might have watched that movie that was the matrix in that there was no differentiation between the virtual world and the real world like the virtual world in which the machines were there or the actual people were living over there there was no differentiation everything was looking realistic and this is what the deep fake means the digital media that is being created by the artificial intelligence even nowadays the artificial intelligence is being used for various productive work also like uh, if i have to make this powerpoint presentation for this particular news then if i know how to use artificial intelligence if i know how to use chat gpt then this whole ppt behind which i go on to invest uh, more than 3 hours for research and the other things for gathering the data for gathering the information for analysis and the other things this can be done within 4 to 5 minutes by the gpt chat gpt just i have to put in my and that to the time taken will be from my side not from the system itself i will take that 4 to 5 minutes to give the input what is my requirement and within 30 to 40 seconds the whole uh, completed powerpoint presentation will be presented by the chat gpt or the artificial intelligence tools right so this is the thing and nowadays many of the people are losing their job because of this and earlier it was said that uh, the blue collar job will be lost most but now it is the white collar job or even the technicians job the highly intelligent work that can be done by the proficient people they are losing their job 
due to this artificial intelligence the artificial intelligence is more proficient in making any of the picture any of the diagram than the technicians than the experts itself so the experts are losing their job more much more faster than those that would have been predicted for the blue collar jobs right so this is the situation and these are hyper realistic digital falsification hyper realistic means what when the false or the fake images news videos audios that will be produced in front of you through this deep fake development system deep fake system then you will not be in position to analyze that whether it is fake or whether it is real you will be not in position to differentiate between the realistic and the fake material and that is called as hyper realistic the fake thing will look like the realistic thing right and it is to inflict harm on the individual and the institutions so the fake news fake uh, audios fake videos and the other things are being used by various elements of this world society nation individual whatever you say to harm inflict harm on individual as well as the institutions also if you have to defame anybody then just get some of his videos and you can use the deep fake method to create some kind of such kind of uh, videos audios or whatever you say you when you can change the background sound or whatever it is to defame him you may insert such kind of words that will not look like the tempered video that he was giving a hate speech or some kind of things and if you want to circulate such kind of things on social media then his individual personal that uh, aura and the other things his personal status and stretcher will get harmed his personal uh, at stretcher in the society his uh, name and fame in the society will be eradicated ero eroded so such kind of things may occur and the factors which are being used factors which are helping this kind of deep fake news its propagation its uh, development and the other things is cloud computing one of the major thing is cloud computing artificial intelligence algorithms abundant of data that is available on internet on social media whatever you say so everything is the part of internet also internet of things and the availability of vast media so all these things cloud computing will analyze that what could be done so that a person's it's a, his own structure in the society can be defamed thereafter ai tool algorithm can be used to create such kind of things thereafter the data will help in which area which region which state you have to spread that uh, uh, fake news and the availability of the fast media will help you out to spread that news in the region in which you want to spread that right so here creation and manipulation of the media can be done quite easily using the deep fake information or the news right so it can be created quite easily and the manipulation can be done quite easily just you have to spread such kind of uh, deep fake news for some kind of uh, some politicians and their whole fame and name and fame will get eroded and by this what will happen in the next election they will not be in position to get whatever they were usually getting the number of votes earlier just you have to defame him and for that matter the deep fake news are being used quite often than not right and here synthetic media synthetic media content so these deep fake news whatever is being created these are synthesized these are synthetic these are made artificially these are not actual media like if you create a fake video about any of the person or any of the occurrence of the event then it is not actual you have not actually recorded that video but you are synthesizing the information and that is why the deep fake media is called as synthetic content media right now here ai generated synthetic media or the deep fake news so what is it 
what are its uses what is it we have already seen in the first slide so what are the uses first of all its accessibility right it is being used for the accessibility purpose like many of the people are using these to access many of the information it is being used for the education purpose like the animation like the uh, agricultural purposes uh, if you want to show how does the agriculture functions and the other things the germination of the plants and the other things so for educational purpose deep fake media is being used to create such kind of audio visuals which would get give more clarity to the students so the deep fake is having its utility also it is not always harmful itself but it has some kind of utility also and most of the deep fake utility is being done in film production like bahubali you can imagine that such kind of uh, huge war like scenario was cre being created so it was the work of deep fake right so the media film production systems are being used are using the deep fake method to create the realistic picture that will look real but that is deep fake these are uh, creations of the ai tools vfx etc right now the criminal forensics in this also for catching the criminals for bringing them to justice the artificial creation of the scene of crime is being done through the deep fake also through the artificial intelligence the uh, chronology of the events can be recreated and through that the culprits are brought to justice they are being punished right thereafter artistic expressions like nowadays you will find that uh, many of the times you will find on the digital media or the internets that if uh, rama would have been existed nowadays how would he would be looking like then they will create the picture of uh, like india in 20 30 or 3000 or 2100 so such kind of artistic expressions are being done as well as many of the pictures like uh, bridal pictures marriage pictures various other things are being created through the artificial intelligence that is the artistic expression right so these are the utilities but what is the misuse and the misuse is more than its utility and first misuse is damaging the reputation of any particular person just get his two or three pictures manipulate it and portray him in a bad way then his whole uh, stretcher will get malinged fabricated evidences nowadays the evidences are being also fabricated like by those people uh, who are trying to create such kind of uh, scenario where they can uh, malinge the stretcher of uh, malinge the personality of a politician just they will take the video they will remove the original audio and they will patch up the fake audio with that particular video and they will say that he was giving the hate speech he was inciting violence against some particular community so such kind of evidences can be fabricated and it is very hard to analyze that whether it is a realistic or whether it is a fake right so such kind of hyper realistic evidences are being created nowadays thereafter defraud the public nowadays the people will create the fake news fake data fake app fake uh, pictures of the company production whatever it is now every day people are getting such kind of news that this was a fake company one of the company was there like who was giving the mobile smartphone at the rupees 251 that was also a deep fake thing they had even organized one uh, of the event launch event the other things and when they received the money all of them are nowadays vanished so none of them are existent now undermine the trust in the democratic institutions and these kind of things these kind of deep fake news are being used by the foreign nations 
लाइक चाइना विल मैन्यूपुलेट सम ऑफ द न्यूज सम ऑफ द इवेंट्स और सम काइंड ऑफ सच अकरेंसेस दैट आर हैपनिंग इन इंडिया बट दैट वाज नॉट हैविंग दैट काइंड ऑफ ग्रेविटी दैट इट शुड हैव कल्मिनेटेड टू द कम्युनल वायलेंस और सच काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स बट यूजिंग दिस डीप फेक मेथड यूजिंग द आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस एंड द अदर थिंग्स चाइना मे क्रिएट सच काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स सच काइंड ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन फेक न्यूज एंड दे मे सर्कुलेट इट अमंग द पीपल and they will undermine the trust of the people on the democratic institutions the people will start to distrust the police establishment itself the government itself so they may create the unrest within a nation using the deep fake so such is the gravity of this deep fake news or the fake media that is being created nowadays like uh, one of the event was there when the those wrestlers who were protesting at jantar mantar when they had been arrested by the delhi police and they were been transported to the other location or the police establishment whatever you say then they had taken a selfie and what happened that selfie was taken by some of the it sector or the politician establishments whatever you say i don't want to name anybody and they manipulated that uh, picture selfie picture using the ai tool using the deep fake methods and thereafter they made their sad looking face as a smiling face and they circulated it on twitter now it is x according to elon musk and the symbol of that particular social media establishment so such is the gravity of the deep fake media that everybody accepted that picture that that is a realistic picture and the wrestlers when they got arrested when they were being transported to other location from the jantar mantar then that was a real picture they were smiling and when the original picture got circulated then everybody was stunned kya kurafat hai bhai kahan kahan se kya kya kar rahe ho ye hota kaise and those people who are unaware of such kind of technology they will take it as a face value that this is the realistic thing just they were doing the drama at jantar mantar now they are happy they are being arrested and they are smiling so such kind of issues are there right now what is the effect what is the effect so first effect is warfare cyber warfare is the new battle ground throughout the world nowadays even china is having a cyber warfare individuals they are just doing the cyber warfare work and that is to the tune of 12000 personals in china those are working for this cyber warfare work only even north korea is having such kind of personals of about 5000 people just they go on to plant the ransomware and the other malwares in different uh, establishments basically nowadays everybody knows that there are different kind of economic sanctions on north korea and still north korea is doing the missile tests ballistic missile test icbm test nuclear test whatever they want they are doing it and uh, that uh, the dictator of uh, north korea is roaming here and there on his mercedes so where from where does this money is coming to north korea through this cyber attacks they are basically extorting the money from different institutions from different organizations through the cyber warfare this is the thing right now the social discord social discord is the another thing which is very very important like just circulate two or three fake news among the masses in the society and the whole social unrest can be created quite easily right so for creating the social unrest deep fake news is being used as a weapon right now increase the polarization increase the polarization in the society so just uh, create some kind of fake news against some particular community like it goes every now and then and that is why the government goes on to uh, ban the or restrict the internet they shut down the internet facility in any particular region wherever the government officials analyze that this may culminate to some kind of social unrest communal 
वायलेंस और सच काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स देन दे गो ऑन टू बैन द इंटरनेट इन दोज रीजन एंड दैट इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट नीडेड थिंग बिकॉज अगेन द फेक न्यूज द डीप फेक न्यूज विल सर्कुलेट ऑन द सोशल मीडिया ऑन द इंटरनेट एंड दैट विल लीड टू द सोशल अनरेस्ट कम्युनल वायलेंस एंड द अदर थिंग्स सो इट इज द नीडेड थिंग राइट एज वेल एज of this particular nation then they can do it quite easily right so this is the thing now just a minute i have to change the battery the battery died out there was a issue with the battery so here who are using them who are the people who are utilizing this deep fake news or the deep fake media so first of all the geopolitical aspirants like china like russia like united states and many other you cannot uh, trust any of the nation with respect to geopolitics geopolitics is always there with the vested interest what do you think why does nowadays there is a rapprochement between united states and india though india is more inclined towards russia even during this ukraine war india is not condemning at all russia and it india should not do that also because at that time of need russia was always there for india right still united state is not push, putting in uh, placing any or imposing any of the sanctions on india not giving effect to the caste and the other things so because of his vested interest united states vested interest that if they have to control china if they have to check china then they need the help of india without india they cannot control or they cannot restrict china this is the matter they have already tried this with japan with australia with philippines with vietnam but it was all in vain and now india is the only nation which can help out united states to check the aggression of china this is the thing why united states is always inclined to india nowadays so this is the geopolitical aspirant that can be forwarded using the deep fake news right now the ideological believers use this deep fake news because if you have to spread your own ideology like communism is better or like capitalism is better or whatever kind of thing whatever kind of ideology you have vegan food is better so whatever you want to spread among the masses you can utilize the deep fake news or deep fake media to portray it in a good picture and to show off that this much of the people are happy in the communist china and those and this and the, that can be utilized to spread your own ideology next is extremists extremists are also using the deep fake media to portray the government in bad picture to portray the capitalists in bad picture to portray the government officials in a bad picture so extremists always use the deep fake media to spread their own extremism and to malice the picture 
or the face of the government, the government establishment and the other things because they are always anti-establishment, right? No matter which party is in the government, they will always be against the establishment, right? So here, economically motivated enterprises are also using the deep fake media like uh, that fair and lovely, right? Just they will show that uh, 15 days and you will be more brighter than a tube light. <laughs> right. So such kind of deep fake media is being used by the economically motivated enterprises also to portray their products in a good picture. Even what do you think? Those kind of advertisement by many of the food delivery companies or many of the food processing units. So when they are recording that video of that particular food, that will have more color contrast that will more looking be more appealing more appetizing but the same product when it will be delivered to you you will think that what is this Kya diya bhai? so that is the situation that is the deep fake media that is the strength of deep fake media political parties are also using that to get advantage over their rival parties deep fake media like uh, that of the Manipur issue, every political party is trying to spread the information in the media according to their own advantage. Nobody is trying to clarify or certify or be certain on a particular information whether this is correct or whether this is wrong. Just they are trying to get an advantage, get an edge over the other political party. They are not thinking about the masses. They are not thinking about the citizens over there. First of all, they have to think about the citizen, those people who are at the receiving end. But politicians are politicians. They will always remain the politician. So they will think about their own advantage, no matter what is happening with the common man, man right? Next is the terrorists. The terrorists also use the deep fake media to brainwash the people like the ISIS was doing, like the Al-Qaeda is doing, like many of the other terrorist organizations are doing to pull in even the well-educated people to work for them, to work as terrorists, to brainwash the people, right? So this is the thing. Next, who are the victims? So the biggest victim, biggest victim in the society of deep fake media is the women. Many of the women are being portrayed in a bad picture and many of the organizations, internet, uh, like that of the consumer, what you say, the video consumers, the, they are creating the pornography and 96%, it is a data, international data, that 96% of the pornographers are using the deep fake media to create the videos as well as they are even using this to malinge the face of the women or even threaten or intimidate them, threaten them that this will happen to you. Basically, they are blackmailing the women using the deep fake media, false videos, right? And they are intimidating them, right? They are inflicting the psychological harm. Suppose that some kind of that uh, bad videos getting circulated in the your locality, then what will be your psychological situation? Many of the women are committing suicide because of such kind of blackmail, because of such kind of deep fake media. Because even they themselves are unable to ascertain that how is it possible and nobody believes them that this is the fake media this is the media that has been created through the AI tool and the other things so here the biggest victim of the deep fake media is the women thereafter the individuals and through misinformation and defamation basically the deep fake media is being used by the politicians to defame any individual to spread the misinformation for any individual or even one individual is using it as a weapon against the another individual. So this is again the individuals are the victim of the deep fake media. Next is the society as a whole. Suppose some kind of false news in a community is being spread for a particular community. 
then what will happen the new incident is in front of you again the social media was the culprit over there the major culprit was the social media and the internet along with the deep fake media and the society as a whole suffered right next is the nation as a whole unrest can be created in the nation by spreading the deep fake media like china can use the deep fake media against india against nepal against bangladesh against myanmar wherever they want they have the whole battery of the cyber uh, experts who can do that quite easily right so this is again against the nation the deep fake media can be used to create unrest in any of the nation or the anti state sentiments can be created using the deep fake media suppose that some kind of false deep fake uh, media is being circulated by the outside states or some of the foreign nations about the government itself that the government is planning to do this kind of thing this kind of thing the hardship for the life of the common people within this nation will increase various other aspects will be there that will influence the life of the common man the food security will be at stake or india is going for war to this nation which will create the economic crisis so if such kind of deep fake media is being spread in any nation then it may lead to anti state sentiments the people may say that git cylinder ka dam 11 rupees se 100 rupees se upar hai aapko war karni hai what is this first of all think about the cooking gas lpg the inflation rate and thereafter think about the war so that may be the case next truthful people the truthful people may also be the victim how the liars dividend will be there because of deep fake media suppose that you are getting the fake news for longer period of time every day you are saying that this was the video this was the video and later on you come to know through fact check that this is a deep fake media this is a false video then at some point of time even the truthful video even the truthful information will not be so much appealing to you convincing to you that this is a true thing so a psychological impact a liar's dividend will be there where you will go on to question even all the information that whether it is true or whether it is a fake news right so that will be again i so which will victimize the truthful people also nobody will trust anybody abhi main whatsapp par apni photo bhejunga kisi ko aur wo 4 din pehle jisne mujhe daadhi mein dekha hoga wo bolega kya lagta hai kuch gadbad hai photo edit kiya hai they will not consider it as that this people this person might have shaved his beard they will think that edited hai chalta hai so that may be again i so so what is the solution first of all media literacy is needed media literacy first of all the media should be literate the people should also be literate about the media what kind of media is there how the deep fake news should be analyzed and the other things meaningful regulation is needed on the deep fake news like punishing the people who are uh, spreading the deep fake news it should be made a criminal offense like you are malingering the defaming the face of any particular person you are creating the social unrest you are creating the unrest in any particular community you are creating the communal violence then why should not a person who is doing that through the deep fake media should be criminalized or punished criminal as a criminal so this should be there meaningful regulation should be there and for that matter legislation should be passed in consultation with technology industry civil society and the policy makers all these should sit together and they should evaluate the issue particularly at the law point of angle at its spread at its uh, that they are causing the damage to the society to the nation to the establishment itself and thereafter they should pass a legislation which should be acceptable to everybody and which should bring the people who are doing this criminal offense of spreading the deep fake media to justice this is needed next is technological solution is needed to detect the deep fake media like some kind of website some kind of software such kind of things should be there 
so that you can upload or you can place the video media whatever it is on that website in that software and thereafter what will happen if it is tempered if it is fake then clear cut information should display on the screen that this is fake don't rely on that right right next is be critical consumer on the internet so as soon as you get the message that this 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 happened in this particular area the video is this although the video is tempered although the video is a deep fake media then also what happens the people go on to forward it so you should be critical about this particular thing first of all you should analyze you should be responsible before spreading such kind of media before spreading such kind of information on internet so this is the responsibility of the common citizen the common man to be a responsible person do not rely on the media which is circulating on the whatsapp on the youtube or such kind of things straight away first of all analyze whether it is realistic or not before passing it on to anybody else right so here we finish off the discussion and this is a short information for you all that we have published our books for upsc civil services in hindi and english medium both as well as the jpsc civil services books are also available in both hindi and english medium and you can order these books through the contact details that is provided in the description box below or you can also order this from our app you can download the app the link for this is provided in the description box below as well as you can order it from our website also or if you want to get this books one by one then you can go on to purchase it from the book shops and if you have liked the video then please consider subscribing the channel press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload new videos as well as if you think that this information should be with everybody so that they should not go on to spread the fake news then please share this video to other people also thank you very much and have a nice day